Hello, I hope your day is going great. My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use filter. If you have like an array uh, and when I say array it's like a list of things and you want to filter by something specific. So for example, if you have a list of people and you want to filter by age, um, that's very easy to do with the filter function. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I have my HTML. Um, there is nothing here yet. I just have an H1, a div with a class of list is totally empty. I have some CSS as you can see here, some CSS. And by the way, this code is in a link in the description of the video. So if you want the whole code, you can go there and get it, all right? First thing I want to do is create a JavaScript file. So I'm going to go here. Let's call it main.js file. Um, all right, let's go back and let's call it right here. So script main.js. There you go. Let's save it. That's it. And now we go here. First, we need a list. We need, a, we need an array of some type of data. So I'm just going to copy and paste one here. All right, so this is the array. Actually, let me put this here. There we go. Um, and we need to put this inside a variable. So let's do const, um, I don't know, people array is equal to this. Okay, so now we have this array. And as you can see, this array is an array of objects. So each one has a name, H, gender, and an account active. So these are things that I added just to filter um, by age, by gender, um, maybe by name. You can filter this however you want using the filter function. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to add the list inside this list div. Right now it's empty with a sad face emoji. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's first get the uh, list uh, element, the, the actual div. Let's call it list equal to document query selector. And let's get that list, which is, I think, is the class, class list. Let's go ahead. Yep. So there you go. Class list. Let's go back. All right. We're good. And now I need to add that list. Uh, maybe, maybe just the name. We can just add the name to this empty div right here. So let's create a function. Do const add list. We can call it, you can call it whatever you want. This function equals to, and I'm gonna do an arrow function just like this, okay? And this is gonna take two. So let's do the array and the element, which is gonna be this list right here, this variable, okay? Let's keep going. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the array and I'm going to do a for each loop just like this. Okay. Oops. Not, not two array that one. All right. For each. And now we need to create a list element like an li. So I'm going to do const li equals to document dot create element just like this. And we're going to do an li. So now we created an li from nothing. It doesn't exist. We created it. All right. Don't, don't get confused by it. It's just creating one li. You can do a diff if you want to. You can do whatever you, element you want. And now I'm going to do li task content. So the task content inside the li is going to be Actually, let's change this element because it's confusing. I already have an element here. This is going to be item or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be item. Um, this is going to be item. My God, there you go. And we're going to get the name dot name right here. The name of the people. All right, so we have now the name inside the li. 
and now we have to append that so let's do element dot append child li so let me explain this a little bit better okay this is a function it's getting an array and it's getting an element the array that you put here is gonna do the for each function so it's gonna look at each um, object here all right it's gonna create a li is gonna add the item whatever item is here which is like this for example so each one is an item so this is an item this is another item this is another item and this is another item okay and we're doing um, add test test content which is the test text inside the li item dot name we can do h we can do item dot h item dot whatever so we want the name and after that's done then we want to append the child um the li to the element which is whatever we want to put here which is going to be the list so all we have to do now is run this function at list remember the array first so the array is called a people array so people array comma and the element is going to be the list which we have right here all right i'm going to save that and there you go we have a jerry jessica lauren fabian or uh, fabian all right um and as you can see if we change it here for example if i put h or gender or whatever you want there you go male female male all right hopefully you get that and you understand that for now we're just adding that list to the dom that way you can see it here and now i want to filter it so let's go ahead and play with that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create here a new array so i'm gonna do const filter it array or call it whatever you want and we need to get this original array so let's do people array dot filter whoops dot filter and let's do person remember this is kind of like the same thing that we did here with the item right here getting each one of them so same thing so i'm i'm just changing it to person and here we can do okay um the conditional so let's say if person dot h is um i don't know more than 40 then give me that all right so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna change this to down here and instead of people array i'm gonna add the filter it array And let's see that let's save it jerry all right let's see if that's actually true so now it's only jerry it seems like jerry's the only one um over 40. so jerry 58 um 32 yep that is correct jerry is the only one over 40. all right let's do a specific name a very very specific name let's go ahead and let's do um dot name equals to this is a string fabian or fabian fabian is better actually so let's save it there we go is the only one that actually is equal to that name so that's working that's perfect that's very specific actually let's do another one let's do a gender gender equals to female safe jessica and lauren all right let's let's make sure that's true yeah so you can see female female the only one let's do another one let's do um actually let me put this a little bit i want to see it more there you go that's better all right actually let's close this 
All right, now this is better. Now we have a lot of space. Let's go back here. All right, now we're good. All right, well, what else? We can keep testing this filter. Um, per, uh, person dot. Oh, we have an account active. Let's do account account active. Let's keep it like this. So this is like saying a person account active is is this true or false? Let's save it. All right. So Jerry, Jessica, and Lauren are account active. Let's see. Actually, Jessica sets processing. It doesn't set true or false. It sets processing. So it's kind of true. Is true, but it's not true at the same time because there is something there, right? There is there, like the the code is is just looking at saying, okay, there is something here. This is true. It doesn't say true, but th there is something there. So we need to be very specific if you want to be like real, real true. So we can do this equals to true, save. There you go. So now Jerry and Lauren, it seems that I'm the only one that is true. All right, and you can say false, same thing. So Fabian, Fabian. Now, you can get very creative with this. It doesn't have to be like this. For example, I want to find the person with the first letter, we, let's say J, all right? So let's go ahead and do this. Person name, I'm gonna use the match. And here we can use a regex, a regular expression. If you don't know what regex is, um, I have a video so go to the description of the video of this video and go there and you can learn about it so you can feel more comfortable because it's, it looks like an alien is coding when you when you code rejects. Well, let's do this. So this is how we start. Now let's go ahead and say if it starts with is this it starts with the letter at J and then globally save that there you go so we're getting um, uh, the name that starts with the letter J and of course Jerry and Jessica so hopefully you can see the power of the filter function you can do this let's say you can press a button to filter you can have drop downs and build your own function when a button is clicked or a drop down or something but you can understand how it works now hopefully this this is something new that you learned that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye